bring the Techtopia logo in. Okay, there we go. Getting ready to go to color. Let's go to color really quick. Here we go. And then we're going to have to uh, say the intro. Don't get it wrong, Tinker. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are again back on Techtopia. I'm spinning around a lot today. And what we're going to do is this is episode seven, the silent film. But I decided to. Oh, wait. You got to subscribe and, and like and do that stuff. And then, uh, yeah, there's my uh, Twitch, Tinker77 Live. And. Twitter, in case you want to do some follows there and see everything that I'm doing. Anyway, uh, Silent Film came out. There was no audio or mic audio, game audio, none of that. So I threw some music on it, and everybody seemed to like that I did that. But there were also just as many people who liked it, wanted to see and have me do a narration over the video. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm not going to cut today. So if I clear my voice, if I have to sneeze or anything, it's going to be in there. I'm just going to record and talk about what's going on. <clears throat> so... Okay, look, oh wow, we just made this little structure. We just stacked up, uh, yeah. It looks the same. It looks kind of boring, Tinker. Why don't you do something better? I don't know. Hey, you just walked in front of my, my camera. So yes, this is gonna be a great fun video, I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna wing it and see what happens. I'm just having fun with this, you know? We do Minecraft. I have fun with it, that's the goal here. Look, we have a child skipping around, going to the butcher shop. That's kind of uh, gruesome. And there they go, the two ranchers, they're going back. Oh look, I got a heart. The hearts, that's for the uh, getting more people, more kids. And I had another suggestion come in and said, don't use the hearts. So what am I going to do? I'm probably going to go use the heart. But yeah, they said, don't use the heart because you should wait till you have a school, which uh, in the last episode, uh, episode nine, teacher for hire, I did make a stool, a school, a stool. I made a stool, uh, probably for me to sit in the corner. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're looking around here. What's going on? We're looking, okay, we're going over here. We're going over there. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't have anything else. Nope. Oh, I'm looking for around for prices. Oh, let's see. We're going to get a house, looks like. We got a house six. That's pretty cool. I usually have been doing a house twos, uh, and they are cheaper, but they're not as efficient as far as money. So it looks like I'm building in a house six here. I'm trying to make it deep enough so they get some room. One of the things in Techtopia is there is a, such a thing as overcrowding in houses. You have to make a certain amount of blocks per uh, villager. And that way that they won't feel uh, overcrowded. So I was trying to figure that out when I did this. And of course, I only brought four iron bars. And I thought, oh, okay, well, let's see. Kind of nervous. I messed up there. But don't look like you messed up. That's kind of what I was doing. But I felt like I messed up. So I just have this kind of narrow but long. And I did decide to take it out and make it bigger. Make it wider. So, you know. And I hear I'm saying, hey, cobblestone. It's cobblestone. I thought maybe we should make this all cobblestone as far as the look of it. So I'm going to have to go in there and clean that all up. And then the mines. Look, the mines aren't being used. You can tell by the signs, but I don't even notice that. And what, what gives it that? Come on. Tinker, you're a professional. Oh, wait, wait. Am I going to change it? I think I might. Okay, I'm changing one. I'm like, oh, I'll move it over here. But it wasn't because of the fact that I, 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 I knew that that was done. It was because uh, I thought it was too long. I wasn't even looking at the sign. So I still didn't really fix anything. Okay, swoosh. There we went, swoosh. Anyway, here we are. We have six beds, six tables, and um, lit up. I thought maybe I put some chairs on it here, but did I put chairs? I don't even remember. I'm still looking at this video. Anyway, so they all turn yellow. Yellow beds means that the village recognizes the room and all the beds are there. And see, here I go, use the heart, which I shouldn't do. And everybody's like, yeah, you need to wait for a school. And they also cleaned it and just dropped, dropped dead right onto the bed. There we go. But it turned green, and that's good. That means it was recognized. And they just took a little power nap there. I love power naps. <laughs> Today I need to get a power nap. Today I'm going over to my mom's house. Um, we're celebrating my birthday um, a couple days early because of the weekend and everybody can get together. So, yes, I'm going to have my birthday uh, meal and my birthday cake, which my mom said she uh, messed up. So, <laughs> whatever. It's all good, right? Anyway, onward we go here. We're gonna go around, we're looking around. We're gonna, okay, what are we gonna do now? We wanted to get something else here. I don't remember what we're gonna do. We wanted to get another guard. Oh, that's right, because I was having guards disappear, I wanted to have a few more guards around. The, the trees, they're all around here. They're all like hard for me to like clear out and stuff. See, there's a creeper right there. Mobs are all around, I wanted to have some more guards. Look at all these stacks of 64 items. I got a lot of 64 items. I was thinking about, well, you know, they'll take from that. And I don't want them to take stacks because I want them want to use those stacks for selling to get emeralds. So I said, you know what? Let me put a 
chest that's outside of storage. So I put it right in the middle of the ground. I don't know why. Because all my other chests are around the ground. Maybe I should build a building. Or a home for me. Maybe I should do that. Probably should. So anyway, here we go. I put in the items. The items here are stacks that I have. And those are for possible trading with the merchant when they show up. Because, you know, they like... <laughs> the merchant never shows up and I'm thinking about that while I was doing this video I really didn't know quite where I wanted this video to go So I was thinking about some stuff I was doing some upgrades there in the beginning and this kind of turned into an upgrade episode or a base maintenance episode If you will whoosh there we go and we got somebody walking around I'm like yeah, we were gonna be a guard, but then you guys can keep slamming the doors in me I'm like get out of my way. There we go. Who are you? you re Rosemorn something there we go and Rosemorn if I can catch up to you, you're gonna be a guard guard and then we got some other person there. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I think we need a couple guards first. I think we went and found another guard thing because we, we were ready to go with that. And um, that was kind of necessary. So, I think I think I decided to do that. At least I would have. We're running around here. Oh, we saw the merchant. Good. Okay, so the merchant here. Let's see. Does it take anything? No, 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 no. I'm not even looking. I just know what they always say. No, 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 no. Because he never takes anything that I want. I really don't like the merchant. And I don't like the emerald prices. I think the... the uh, um, What do you call it? The the economy of... Tactopia is kind of skewed. Uh, I, I know that Tango Tech has balanced it. But for me, it takes forever to get anything. Um, and like, I mean, if I've counted all the emeralds that I have sold. I've only maybe gotten 30 emeralds total. And that's not enough to do the stuff that I need to do. Uh, especially when I'm trying to create videos and content. Which is why I've had to go and mine every single episode for stacks of emeralds. And it's a pain. Um, so I think that the, the emerald prices need to be a little bit less. And the merchant should basically uh, be accepting of basically anything that the village produces. I think that's the biggest thing. If they would allow anything, that then fine. Um... But for, since they're only allowing certain things on certain days, and it never is anything that you have, it, that's a pain. Wow, do you see that? Eight blocks of emeralds for the tavern, which we already have the tavern. So that's okay. But eight blocks. That's just kind of crazy. Okay, I'm going to take a quick drink here because my voice is getting a little rough. Mmm. Yeah, Pepsi in the morning. I don't know. I'm up a little bit early today, but like I said, because I'm going to be going over to my mom's house. So we're going to be... Uh, <clears throat> Getting ready for that in just a little bit, Pause Player 10 and I. If you don't know, I have a son, Pause Player 10. Uh, although he's taking his content down, he's trying to get back into doing YouTube. And he's also thinking about changing his name. Um, so I don't know what he's called now or if he's called anything different. I don't know. You know, kids. Anyway, so we're running around here. we got to find a guard. Now, where did that guy go? Where did the nomad go? A nomad running around. Go figure. Okay. Anlo Cell. You are a guard with your wood sword. Okay, here I go. I put pillars down. I am trying to be creative. This is Tinker trying to be creative. I put four pillars down. Yeah. And they're saluting me. Good job. Um, one of the things that I was told is that the lumberjacks go for trees. Dig, 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 dig. They go for trees on the on dirt. And if you put a like a, um, a oak or any other type of log on cobblestone or other stone, it will then not be seen as a tree by the lumberjack so that's why i did that there on all the corners because uh that way they won't <laughs> rip up my stuff so i think what i tried to do here i was trying to find a way i wanted this to be like an open air stall and so i was trying to be creative with it now i don't have a lot of, of, of various types of wood and other resources and at this time in, in the video series i didn't even know there was a mall so I was just kind of like, okay, well, I'll do with what I have, which I have a lot of dark oak, a lot of dark oak. Okay, we're gonna put down, what are we gonna do? We're we gonna do all cobble for the floor. Yeah, I thought it was outdoor. It should have been more cobble. So here we go, we're making some cobble up here. Yep, yeah, making a floor. I could have used slabs, but everybody has so much cobble. It's not a, no point in like trying to be conservative. And that's coming from my old, the, the old, uh, uh, Skyblock days of, you know, using slabs and, and trying to be as efficient as you can because you don't want to waste the, the resources. So so I knew these pillars had to go up. I didn't know what else to do. I'm, you know, when I record these things, sometimes I'm thinking, whoosh, here we go. I'm thinking, what do I do? I don't know how I'm going to do this. So um, hopefully I do it right. 
and I'm doing this while talking, so it's kind of nervous. So I made up a stall, three high stall, it looks like, and I put a the merchant thing, which I've noticed that this merchant stall, the idea that I had was like, I, kept, I can never find the merchant, and it's supposedly he will come to the stall and stay there. And I've had days where I don't even see him at the stall at all, even after this has been built. So I'm not sure if it works quite right. He does seem to frequent it more often than other places, so, you know, who knows. I'm looking at the stuff. Okay, well, yeah, it looks kind of similar. I don't know. Let's think what I do. I want to do a roof. I want to do another cobblestone slab roof. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what is going on here? Um, We're getting wool. Oh, I was thinking about doing a wool roof, I think, um, and making it some colored. So and here's me trying to remember how to do wool and make colored wool. I'm like, uh, is it one to one? Yeah. Now that's kind of expensive, I think. I really think that in Minecraft should change too, by the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you take one one piece of dye and eight pieces of glass to make them eight glass. Why wouldn't it be the same for, for wool? But I don't know. Okay, so we're making a red roof, looks like. Here we go. Okay, so up we throw. We try to figure out how to get up on top of there, which means I got to go. Oh, I'm not making a roof. Oh, okay. I'm trying to add some color to like the walls. Make it kind of uh, um, a gypsies or that kind of a look, you know. You think about their colorful tents and that sort of thing. And, of course, I ran out because I can't count. So, yeah, I derped again. So, how are we going to do this? I got to talk about, well, I'm, I messed up, but that's okay. We're going to work on stuff. Yep, there we go. And there's the slabs because, you know, I want to make the... <laughs> I've been doing very simple roofs throughout this whole thing. And basically, it's to keep things from spawning on top of the uh, building. So... Uh, my typical is I go to outside of the um, building to get like an overhang. But since this is smaller, I thought maybe we'll probably do one. I think I did one. I'm not sure. Yes. Nope. That's uh, two there and two on the main buildings. But you can see over there I did one. Okay. We're talking to the merchant. Look, we're going to see if he goes there. Does he go there? It's like a merchant beacon. He's coming over there. He's like, hello. Yeah, I think this is okay. He made me a crafting table, but I can't craft anything. And I'm looking for stuff. Oh, he's got potatoes. Oh, he's got beetroot. We can't use that. Spruce wood. Don't have that. Eggs. Jungle. Of course, stuff that I don't have. Again. Any wool and leather and iron swords. I'm thinking iron swords. In fact, I think I did have an iron sword, but I don't think I used it. I think I, I, think I was looking in the chest here, and I think I saw an iron sword somewhere. Not enough potatoes. And not enough of that stuff. Nope, nothing there. And then on the outside here, they don't use a lot of these chests yet. So, I mean, you know, it's good. Now, it'd be nice that there was a way to have them organize the stuff or use, if it's anywhere in the same chest, use that particular chest. So, I'm not sure. Looks like there's nothing cooked mutton. We're not going to have any cooked mutton. We never do. I mean, I thought, here, oh, we have made of cooked mutton. Yeah, we have like one or one, one. That, that's 11. <laughs> Tinker can count. Okay, so we're going on here. <clears throat> we're gonna probably gonna have a whoosh in a second. I don't know what else to say. So, uh, where's the whoosh? Whoosh, there we go. Okay, we're back down. Look, now I'm thinking, hmm, that's not working. Okay, now I get it. It's like because of length. Okay, that one's working. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to make a long tunnel and then have the tunnels go off of it. And I'm not sure what they did here, but I thought I'd have them dig it out first. So there it goes. Okay. So they should have two mines now, plenty of space to gather stuff. I'm like, okay, that's about how long it is. That's about how long it is. That makes sense. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. And there's Sela uh, getting up, or is this going to bed? I'm not sure. I can't tell what time it is. Look up. There we go. Yeah, keep looking up. I still can't tell, but she's getting up, I think. So I think it's going to be daytime. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> They're having a little battle there. They're doing like a chest bump. So the merchant's back, and of course, again, doesn't buy anything that I have. At all. Maybe we have a diamond sword. I doubt it. We have some potatoes, but I don't think we have enough of that. Just every time, he doesn't have anything that I actually produce at the moment. And I produce with the four basic crops. I have produced some uh, stuff from the butcher shop. Some meats and things which get cooked by the baker. I got baked goods. Um, you know, I got wood wood that I have around me sometimes oak and sometimes dark oak I really need to get more 
like birch and other things. So possibly we need to make a tree farm. Maybe we'll do that in a stream or something. I don't know. But we'll see. Okay, so there. Here's a diamond sword. I'm like, yay, I found a diamond sword. Now, does he take the diamond sword? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I can't I think. I don't think he does. I think he doesn't want the diamond sword. Even though I didn't make the diamond sword. That, that was made by the villagers. It's not turning green. And I'm not sure if that's a bug or intended. But uh, I didn't make it or give them diamond sword to use. So, any anyway, whoosh. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. My the voice is like, I feel like I got to keep clearing it. I don't want to pause this video though. So, you got to forgive me, guys. Maybe I'll take another drink real quick. I'm trying to buy something here though. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, make the noisy guy. And throw my emeralds out, nice. Okay, we're trying to make a bard here because the bard will help raise happiness. Um, they will roam, roam around during the day and at, near the end of the evening, they'll be in a tavern by the note block, which is basically, and that's the juke block. Okay. So there's somebody here, Wilhelma Duke. Wilhelma. Wilhelm, no, Wilhelma. Wilmina. I don't know. I can't read it because it's off and on so much. Wilhelmina. There we go. Wilhelmina is now a bard. Looks like Robin Hood. Oh, oh, and there's another one. And what am I going to do? I use it without thinking about a stool. A school. A stool. I did it again, guys. I can't talk. So Wilhelma. Wilhelmina. Oh my gosh. I'm just derping all around. The Robin Hood here is uh, going to uh, run around and play music. And I'm going to tell you, it was really loud. Here I'm saying, look, I made a note block. And oh yeah, we can't uh, path very well in here because of the, the wool carpets that I put on there. So I go back and just go find Robin Hood. There's Robin Hood. And Robin Hood just starts around, plays this little flute. And it's really loud. There they are. They're doing a little jig while they're playing to the, to the guard. And I'm like, this is way too loud. Figure out what it is. Jukebox, note blocks. And it's like, nope, that wasn't it. Um, it turns out I think it was friendly creatures I eventually found out. But yeah, it was a pain. Look at all the busy bees running around. Doing stuff. <laughs> They're having fun. Okay, so we have that. We have... That's daytime. Gotta look up to see what time it is. Can't tell from anything else. Um, we're gonna look in here. Look at all the stuff we've got. We got carrots and wood and wood, and we even got black uh, wool. So we've got plenty of stuff to trade, but there's only like four items to trade. And then the merchant doesn't like those items. Never does. Whoosh! Hi, that was scary. Merchant right in my face. Oh look, they got carrots. He does take carrots this time. I right, grab the carrots. There we go. Give him some carrots. There we go. Okay, and. Yay, we got some emeralds through selling like normal. Potatoes, and the restart. This seems like it always happens during my streams and my uh, gameplay. It's a restart, so we're gonna restart. Here we go. Everybody's leaving, and I'm gonna leave soon too, but I wanna get this trade because I didn't know if the restart would like change the trades. Uh, okay, and log out. There we go, now we're out. And we wait for a little bit. The server restart is actually kind of quick. As you can see there, I have Tinker's Techtopia server. I have a Techtopia server that I have for my Patreons, and they are quite active on it. Um, so if you are wanting to be a Patreon, want to join those people and play with us, uh, take a look at Patreon. You can ask some questions in my Discord. Discord uh, links are in the description. They're also at the end of the video. Um, make sure if you do join the Discord, you read the rules. I keep having to tell us to people, read the rules. There are some instructions on there that you have to follow to gain full access to the Discord server. Anyway, back to this. We're getting close to the end, guys. I'll probably run my uh, uh, outro here. Just a second. Um, but anyway, look. It's the new day. The stall is here, but there's no merchant. Go figure. He's about the most unreliable person around. And we have another nomad, but we don't have any type of profession for them. And there I do the outro. I'm like, hey, guys. This was a lot of fun. And I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Click, click the mouse to make it look like you're doing something. Click the mouse again to make sure it looks like you're doing something. Nope, not going to do it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do my outro right now for you, you know, and we'll uh, go from there. So, hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. And if you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? I want to say thank you guys to everybody for giving me suggestions to do a little voiceover and narration. 
And you know, this channel has been growing a lot for the last month, the best month I've ever had. And I'm continuing to put out the content that you guys want. And so we're gonna keep on growing. So hey, tell your friends, tell everybody, hey, there's Tinker77, he's a good guy. He does pretty uh, awesome redstone, not so great builds, but he's a lot of fun to watch, okay? So uh, it looks like I still have another minute of time. I did my outro too early. I'm gonna do it again then, okay, here we go. <laughs> if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications. Okay? Uh, thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.